Hello there, Ray here, and in this video I will be explaining how the 1.13 new water mechanics as well as the 1.13 new item mechanics work, and how you can use these to your advantage. I did an extensive amount of testing with water as well as items and how they react with each other. Now right off the bat, they made it so that items will float on top of the water, although I'll show that this isn't always the case, but in general, when you put an item in water, instead of it sinking, it will float to the top. So all this water that you see here is there a variation of the water that is in the game. There is still water as well as flowing water and there is different levels of those water. I tested them all to see if they would allow items to float. Now some of them did not. So levels uh, 0 through 6 of the still water did not allow items to float as well as level 0 through 6 of the flowing water also did not allow items to float. Instead those items would sink to the very bottom. This means that level 7 through 15 of flowing as well as still water will allow items to float on top. So here's an example of level 7 as well as level 6. And on level 7 you can see the item is clearly floating, where on level 6 the item is way down here, it's trying to float, but it's not making it to the top. The bubble columns are capable of being produced in any variation of the water that is still. So this goes for water vents as well as whirlpools, and they will not occur in any of the flowing variations of the water. So one of the changes that they made with items as well as water is that we no longer need to have ice underneath of our water streams for the items to travel fast. So here you can see I got an item stream that has glass and that one has ice over there. And then if we just break these two, you can see that the items will reach the end pretty much the same time. So the water over here that was just over top of the glass moves the items at the same speed as the old system which used um, ice. You may be wondering, what about underneath of this block? Typically we'd have an ice block here so that items from here would be able to slide underneath of this block and then continue on into the next water stream. Well, with 1.13, the momentum is so great from these items, they are capable of going right underneath of this block. They do slow down a little bit, but even without ice, they are able to go from one water stream into the next water one. So now that items can float on top of the water, would we ever have a problem where the items would be floating on top of the water and they bump into these blocks that we use to hold back the two water sources? Well, typically in situations like this, you would have the water flow out 8 meters. This would make it thin enough so that if the item was running on top of this, it would be able to go underneath of the slab here. So you can see it's pretty easy to go underneath there. Even if we start the item from over here, it will zip right underneath of the slab. No problem at all. But in some situations, if you happen to be using a really specific situation, such as like this piston base here, and this piston base actually allows items to go underneath of it. So let's see if I can throw one item underneath there so I can show you guys. Yeah, this is the exact height for a item a hitbox to be able to fit underneath of a piston base. So it's quite tight, but it's able to fit underneath there. And in a situation like this, where you have a little bit higher water beside it, the item will not be able to make it all the way across. So if I just throw an item over here, we'll see that the item will be able to go through, but it starts to float on this section over here and it ends up floating too high up, so it's not able to go underneath of this piston. So what about item sorters, especially old ones? Will your old item sorters still work? Well, yeah, the items still align pretty well up against items that you stick here, such as cakes or ender chests, even dragon eggs, and they will still go into your sorters. Here I got a nice sorter and it just works just fine. By 1.13, since items float on top of the water, we don't have to worry about them falling inside the hoppers, and therefore we can put the hoppers directly inside of the water stream. So here, instead of having the items aligned and hoppers normally over here, we have them inside of the item stream as the floor themselves, and we don't have to worry about the items falling in. So you see, if I just throw an item directly in the center, item is capable of going across all these hoppers and reaching the end without falling inside of the hoppers. This means you can make item sorters. So I just built one up really quick right here. And this one just sorts out chests. So we just grab a chest there. And here we have a typical situation where the items would normally go across. And we could say you can have multiple of these. And if I just throw a chest into the water stream here, you see it goes across and the hopper is able to pull it out. The blocks underneath of the water stream play a little effect on how fast the item moves across it, as long as they're not either in the beginning or the end of it. So if I just place an item over here, it first gets a little bit of momentum, but once it goes through, you can see it easily goes over top of the slime blocks, which are normally slow. Here I have a command that can even switch it out to uh, soul sand. As long as it's not the end of the stream, that will affect it as well as the beginning. So let's throw an item into this system here. If you start back here, it gets quite a bit of momentum. And you can see it can easily go across the soul sand without slowing it down. So this command here will just put down some bomb slabs and we can see how the item will react. Sometimes it can travel across it and sometimes it can't depending on how much momentum it gets. That time it is able to almost make it all the way across. So depending on how the item is sent into this 
uh, water stream, it is capable for the water to take it all the way across without ever touching these blocks down below. So I also tested how items react to a new type of water in 1.13. So here we just have normal water and items will travel up at about 0.5 meters per second. And here we have a water vent. And the way I made this is just by having two columns of water and putting soul sand here. This seems to work and be very stable. Now with this one, items will travel up at about 1.2 meters per second. So almost twice the speed of this uh, just normal water. So it's quite decent speed. And here we got the magma blocks, which when you put in the water stream, it's pretty much the same situation as they have over there, two water columns. And when you put the magma blocks in, this will pull items downwards. And here you can see that it pulls down the items down at about six meters per second. Some of you guys asked if it's possible to get these bubble columns in uh, different biomes as well as different world heights. And I just want to show you guys that it is possible to get them in pretty much any biome as well as any height inside of the world. Both water vents as well as whirlpools work in pretty much every biome that I've tested them as well as up high in the air also work in the nether dimension if you're capable of putting water there. They also both work in the end dimension. So with water vents allowing the items to travel up faster, it's really good to use these for item elevators. So here I made a simple item elevator. Here comes our water stream and then all I do is got the normal water on this side and we got the vented water on this side. All I did is just place one bucket of water at the very top and it came down here and then it converted this over into vented water as soon as I placed down the soul sand. Now if we just throw um, some items in, we see that the items get shot back to the far end and back here is where the vent is. If the items were over here, they would just travel up quite slow, but once they get over here, they can easily travel up quite fast and they will reach all the way up to the top. Now once the item has reached the top of your item elevator, if you want the items to continue on through a water stream, you can just come in here and break down this block. This will allow this current water, which is right here, to start flowing in this direction and it will reach all the way over to here and you can see the bubbles still um, occur right here. Now we can demonstrate this by putting some items into this water stream and you see that the items are capable of coming up and then getting uh, pushed by this current over towards this direction and getting washed underneath of this trap door and continue on. Now if you have trouble them, make it all the way underneath of the trap door or whatever you use, like a slab, you can just put some ice in there which will allow it to be able to slide through. Um, if you're afraid the items will be able to get launched off of this and fall on top, you can always just put a top to this. Here I made a water stream that is capable of transporting mobs as well as items on the same lane. So if I just flip this trap door here, we will drop the items in and they will make it all the way to the end and the villager will also make it to the end. Now, the items are a little bit faster, of course, because of the new 1.13 item transporting beads. Now the way that this works is that when the items come through, they will fall down into this water and move along this current. Then they will raise up in this section here to allow them to be able to clip into the next water stream which is above them. Then they'll continue on, go down, and then clip up again. And then they'll make it to the end and the mobs will easily be able to ride this same water stream to the very end. New water as well as item mechanics for 1.13 and how to use them. So if you found this interesting, show me the like. If you'd like to see more crazy stuff that I discover in the snapshots, subscribe. And if you found anything in the snapshots that you think I should cover, tell me in the comments. Bye-bye.